more prepared playing up there and then coming back down, or is it really just the same game? Uh, shoot, man, you learn a lot up there. <laughs> That's for sure. You, you learn a lot while you're up there, and you try to, anytime well, that you uh, get an opportunity to come and to play and whatnot, you're always trying to find ways to improve. So, I mean, I had a lot of things I had to work on last year, so I have a lot of things I got to work on this year. What kind of things do you think you need to work on this year? Um, there's a lot. Catching. You, said you had a lot of things. You know, defense, defensive stuff, you know. Um, <laughs> defensive stuff, offensive stuff, trying to be consistent, learning new roles, and roles, I should say, and just understanding how that applies to this level and hopefully to the next level. A couple of uh, good pitching performances tonight, a few pitch good pitching from performances tonight, excuse me. Talk about the starter that you guys threw out there tonight, Miller, and how he did. Well, I mean, you know, just as, as well as I know, he's got good stuff and um, electric stuff. <laughs> and, uh, you know, electric is a good word. Yeah, he's got good stuff, and, and their guy had good stuff as well. Like, both those guys went out there, competed, and um, you could see, like, certain innings, they just shut us down, and other innings were able to get a little rally going. So as, as uh, anytime, you know, you go on the field and you're facing a guy like that, you're really trying to just find your pitch, put a good swing on it, because, you know, a guy has stuff like that that it can be a, it can be a long day. Mm -hmm. Guys like yourself, uh, Kayla Anderson, really made a name for you guys uh, in the city of Boston. People know who you are. Uh, you're, you know, you're expected to have some success because of what you've done at the major league level. Talk a little bit about the guys who might fly under the radar. Maybe a lot of guys don't know about that or put up great numbers down here in Pawtucket. Well, our uh, our four hole hitter Tony Thomas is doing a great job, and uh, you know he has a great approach. As you maybe saw today, you know he puts good swings on the ball, and uh, mm -hmm. he's definitely a guy. And Kyle Weiland, another pitcher for us, got good stuff, and the Expo has done a great job, and uh, Reddick swinging the bat well. So, I mean. I think the way our team is, we got a lot of guys who can play, and it's you know, one guy will do something one night, the next guy another night. Navarro's doing a great job, um, but I think this guy's spirits will be so will surprise you because he can play, and once he gets a gets in there and gets comfortable, he'll be, be pretty good. Yeah, you you know, you look up ahead of you in Boston, uh, Carl Crawford. Jacoby Ellsbury, all the big names that are in the outfield. What kind of mindset do you have to keep down here while you have all those guys stacked above you in Boston? Uh, I don't think you really. I don't. I don't focus on it because you know I got to do my job before I even that becomes a possibility. I'm not focused on on that. And I mean, I think if you ask anybody, you want to see them do well up there. They're great guys, and and uh, in spring training, I got to know you know see them play around, play with them, and they work hard. And so you know, I know I wish them the best, and I'm sure everyone else in here wishes them the best as well. I mean, just being part of the Red Sox organization, you want to do well, you want to see them do well. But I got to do what I got to do down here before any of that even becomes uh, a possibility. So. Yeah. Great, awesome.